I'll introduce the second company, it's uh, Sugar Cube, and um, I'll let them explain what they are. Thanks so much. Hi, I'm Shri, founder and CEO of Sugar Cube, and uh, we live in an age of gadgets. We have smartphones, tablets, and computers. They allow us to discover, communicate, and entertain. But sometimes, when we want to share things, it's really easy to do it online. But offline, things tend to be a little bit trickier. If you check out all these wonderful little adapters right here, it's kind of hard to find the exact one you need to connect to your device. So whether you want to share videos, you know, your favorite viral cat video with your group of friends, or sharing a presentation with coworkers, or even just watching your favorite internet TV series with your partner. You know, we want to make it very easy to share things offline. So we do it over Wi-Fi. Because almost every device has Wi-Fi, and we want to be universally compatible with any smartphone, tablet, or computer. Whether that's an iPhone, Android, Windows phone, maybe even a Blackberry if you have one. Show of hands, how many people have Blackberries? Nice. There's <laughs> <laughs> like two people. But we got you covered too. So let's just check out a demo. So in literally as few as two clicks, I can start sharing stuff from my phone on the screen. So bam, just that simple. Uh, so let's check out a YouTube video. Does anyone have any preferences for what we're going to watch? Cat video. Cat video. Oh. There's something viral. Something viral. Uh, Frozen. 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 MPA, I might not like that. But uh, so, mind blowing, that's about magic. So, we rely on your internet connection. So, this is over Wi Fi. Uh, this is over 3G. This is hotspot right here. Um, and if the sound was turned up, you'd be able to hear it. Let's see if it'll, let's see if it'll work. Um, it should work just, yeah, yeah, as long as the sound's turned up. Um, all right, so YouTube's not being very uh, helpful, so let's just try something else. Um, so you wanted to show what your latest vacation was to your family when you're at home. Uh, just open up photos and see what I've been up to. Hopefully nothing crazy. Um, <laughs> so I went hiking on Twin Peaks uh, the other weekend, so this is a view around 7 o'clock. Let's see if we have a panorama. This is San Francisco. Uh, kind of blurry late at night, but... Yeah, it's easy, as easy as that. You don't have to worry about what cable to use or, you know, looking up something else. Uh, whether You can just work with a laptop, smartphone, or even a tablet. So whatever you have your photos on, you can easily share it with other people. Uh, don't have any videos on here. So... That's Sugar Cube. Okay. Any questions? What was your inspiration? Uh, the inspiration was back in college, uh, we had a computer with basically hundreds of TV shows and movies, and it was hooked up with a 100 foot cable that wrapped all the way around the living room to a PlayStation. And that went to a TV, and it was just very hard. It's awesome because we could access tons of music and content, but it's very difficult uh, to do it in an easy way. It's like literally holding a button down to scroll through hundreds of shows, and say you wanted to watch uh, Z for Xenon, the awesome hit TV show, uh, you'd have to wait until you scroll down through like 100 shows. So this is just the much easier, simpler way to do it. Is this a B to C or B to B or B to C to B? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so is this, is this B to C? Are, are you going to do market direct to consumer, or are you going to try to get, get uh, are you going to market to the business and try to get some content? Yeah, so the question was, are we going to market to businesses or consumers, or a little bit of both? Um, the answer is a little bit of both. Um, we did a pre-order campaign just to see uh, you know, people actually wanted this, and we actually sold out of that. Um, so consumers definitely want it. 
and businesses that we've shown it to definitely want this because you get to eliminate all this mess of cables and just make it very easy to save time in a presentation. Um, when you're, whenever you're trying to hook something up, if you're saving five minutes of like six people in a room, that's that's a lot of time for productivity. Yeah. What's, the What's your business model and uh, so just a second. So the question was, what's connected? Uh, so actually, I have another prototype in my pocket. This is it. This is a SureQ prototype. Basically, it has an HDMI on one side and USB for power. And you just plug it into a TV or projector with an HDMI port and then hook it up to power. And then you're good to go. All you have to do is connect it to your Wi-Fi network and you're all set. If you don't have one, it has its own Wi-Fi network. So we got you pretty much covered. Uh, gentleman in the back. Yeah, I was wondering what is your business model? Do you plan to sell the devices or what's Yeah, so what's our business model? Initially, we plan to sell the devices and for businesses who just want something that works rather than having to worry about, you know, updating different standards every like three or four years when they come out, uh, we'll probably be selling some sort of uh, contract to them to keep them up to date. Yes. So right, now, right now I noticed that it's mainly from your phone to tablet on yeah, it's from, from the phone to the device. <coughs> from the device, the device was connected to the, to the tablet? Uh, the device is connected to the projector. Oh, to the projector. Okay. Yes. So if you wanted to do it, say like, so in order to, for, for your friends to do that to your phone, then they would need to give up. Uh, you, you're so, we, so the question was, can we project from uh, someone else's phone to another friend's phone? Yeah. Thank uh, you. So we can't do that because that requires like rooting the device or modifying it at like a very low level, and many people aren't comfortable with doing that. Maybe in the future. Yes. So uh, I know right now on the market there are many uh, network attached uh, storage solutions. How are you gonna differentiate from them? Yeah. So the question is, um, how are we different from all these network attached sort of solutions? So there's a lot of other products out there, but none of them are universal and they work with nearly any device, you know, whether that's an iOS device, an Android device, a tablet, or a computer. And also, it's about content discovery. We're not about allowing you to store content on our device and access it or find some way to scroll through it. You already have content that you're accessing on your mobile device. So like you watch Netflix or YouTube and you're comfortable with how you're searching it um, you know, on your tablet or your computer. Uh, we just want to give you the ability to project it onto a very large screen. In this case, this is a projector, um, so or your home TV. Um, it's just much more comfortable to watch it on a larger screen rather than being cramped in, uh, you know, a tablet or computer. But sometimes it's beneficial. Yes. How much does it cost to make that device? Uh, what manufacturer? So for manufacturing, um, it ranges anywhere from tens of dollars to hundreds of dollars, depending on the quantity. Um, also. So recently, depending on uh, supply chain issues, it can drastically go up. Recently, there was a fire in a factory uh, for one of our suppliers, and the cost of a single part just shot up 10x. So um, it varies. But at scale, like that, how much do you expect that uh, device to sell to cost? Uh, we haven't even finalized the hardware specs, so. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much.